Today I am going to show you how to cook phosphorus and the mixture we have here is a mixture of water, a little salt and some yeast and I have been given explanation that the yeast is used to soften the bread so that it can signify the softening of our hearts. So we are going to put in some flour, just enough to cook two pieces of prosphoro. You mix it thoroughly, very well using your hands so that it can mix equally and to ensure that we have a good dough, one that is soft and one that can be shaped as required. Yeah, so we continue and uh, now we have added some more flour so that it can be in good shape and can uh, get into the right proportions. That is exactly how it's done using the hands. You just need just enough flour to make the dough and uh, in a good quality, in a way that it can be shaped using the the pots that we used to shape it in the shape of the Kiafre, as you can see how he's doing it. can see how it's shaping up well. We're almost done with the, the, the making of the dough. Just in case you're wondering what type of flour you would need to use, we are talking about wheat flour. He added some flour to make it harder. Mixing it so well so that you cannot see the, the flour, the flour mixed very well. And you can see now it's easier to shape it into any shape you want. Yeah, and now the duck is done and ready. The duck is done and ready. The duck is done and ready. You don't need any tools or any equipment to, to make the duck. It's just the hands, water, and just a small basin like you've seen. So it's not anything that's complicated to do. Everyone can do it. So any church can have a good quality bread for communion. Good, that is it. It's okay. So now we are going to continue to knead the flour more, uh, the dough more, so that it can uh, it can be well well made. If possible, you knead it on a, on on such a floor where you, you can apply maximum force to ensure there is total mixing of the flour all mixing of the dough of, of the dough 
this is not hard for anyone to do, so we are using the simplest uh, process that anyone can use. So as you can see there are two pieces, so one piece will make one piece of prosperous and the, so these are two pieces of prosperous. So you will make DAF equal to the number of uh, prosperous pieces you want. Good. There we have it. He continues now shaping it into the, the right shape so that one it can fit into the into the pans. It's well shaped as you can see, simple, no complicated tools. So now this pan needs you to apply some two drops or three drops of oil and you can spread the oil using your finger or sometimes you can use the kitchen blush. To, to make sure that the, when the, the piece of, uh, of duff is pressed there, it will not stick to the pan when it's cooking. So we are going to place the duff in, in the pan and then after that we shall transfer it into the oven. Yeah, we shall continue to the oven. Then before we, we proceed to the oven, we are going to, 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 to stamp the two pieces of duff so that uh, they can cook with the stamp. You know how the prosperous looks like. So this is the stamp. You all know how the prosperous looks like and this is the stamp that gives it, gives it that look. Yeah. Uh, we shall do another video indicating what all these means, which, what each part means, so that we can well understand what partaking the communion means and why we use the prosperous. So now we are going to do the stamping. I hope you are, you, you are following and you can see how easy it is. You just press the stamp, apply force so that we can have a quality stamp. But as you can see, look how it looks, very beautiful. Then we go to the next one, the same thing. Long pressing, uh, applying a force and then as you can see, very good quality. Look how they look. It's very sweet, very beautiful. So now, after this, this is the last process where we have the dough. The next part we go to is to the oven. Let's head to the oven. So now, this is the oven. We're going to bring the, the dove that we've just stamped in here. And we are going to, to place it inside the, the oven. As you can see, they are well pressed. And then we are going to put uh, how many degrees of heat? 200. 200 degrees and we are going to cook it for one hour. So we are going to come back after one hour and we are going to observe what we we'll have cooked and that is how we cook prosperous. For those who do not have an oven, we have other traditional ways that we, we do. You know, we, some people they press some charcoal, burning charcoal in a sufuria or in a, what do we call that, in a pan. We have two pans, one in the bottom that has fire and another one on top that has fire so that we can, that is a traditional uh, oven, a traditional man-made oven, a uh, made oven here that we've been using for ages. So we are going to come back here after one hour. Let's see what we'll have cooked. See you there. So it has been one hour and uh, it has been cooking and we want to see what are the results. Let's see. Wow, look at that. Very 
smart golden yellow i hope you can see how good they look they are already cooked and there we have the pros for us so the only thing now we need is to press them on a, on a big pan so that they can cool down and they will be ready for use for so uh, we are making these ones for to be used tomorrow so they will have cooled and they will be good to go thank you for watching kindly sus subscribe to this channel if you've not so that we are going to be making more videos and content about the other dogs faith and what we do and why we do what we do thank you i'll see you in the next video